Once again, ladies and gentlemen, um, I want to point out uh, a, another interesting question that Simon was asked. Somebody must have been uh, somebody must have really be really uh, been reading my rants on YouTube because uh, I just find it really interesting that they asked him this question. This was from January third of two thousand and sixteen's uh, Connecting Consciousness show with JP that aired on YouTube. Now, um, I know the video date says January 3rd, 2015, but that was an error that was made uh, by uh, the Connecting Conscious, uh, excuse me, by Wolf Spirit Radio. They made that mistake. But anyway, um, I'm going to play a small clip of the video that was aired a couple of months ago. And uh, I want you to listen to a question that Simon was asked, and then I'm gonna pause it and give you my feedback. Back to connecting consciousness with Simon Parks. Well, where were we? Yes, that was. I I really like the one about the animals myself, because um, there are all these different uh, creatures that are coming coming through at the moment. You know, just like not not human faced. But uh, still quite friendly. So this is a right. Here's a here's all right. I don't know if I can pronounce this word. Okay. Question for, for Simon from Robin. Question for Simon. Hello, Simon. Did you ever hear about the book The Theauba Prophecy? And if so, what are your thoughts about that? And greetings from Germany. That's right. It just cut out a little bit. Could you just repeat that? Have you ever heard about the book The The Theauba? T H I A O O U B A prophecy. Theo right. prophecy. That's very interesting because I haven't, but I've heard of it, I've not read it. Um, it's on my to do list. Somebody over Christmas uh, asked me exactly the same thing and uh, sent me a link because I believe there is a, a, an electronic version. And I haven't looked at it yet. Thanks. So maybe we could revisit that uh, next time. Good, good, good. Or, or you know, maybe you, you, you can talk about it. But, but you know, I'd, I'd like to have a... Okay. <clears throat> that was all that was, uh, that was uh, mentioned and spoken about uh, the theory of a prophecy. I'm the guy that's actually on YouTube that continues to bring it up, Simon. Um, and the reason being is because it is one of those books that no one in ufo ufology will touch. Uh, contactee Mikhail Desmarket that wrote the book, wrote that book between 1993 and 1995. And I find it very, very odd that the guy has zero criticism about the book. Uh, he speaks about Lemuria, Atlantis. Uh, he talks a lot about, um, he claims, he talks about, uh, he said, uh, the, the, uh, the, the alien ancestors of the Polynesian race built those giant heads on Easter Island. It, it, it's really it, it's really a fascinating book. Um, but like I said, the one thing that I really like about the book the most is his discussion of the Bakaratinians. And the alien that abducted Mikhail went directly into it. He said, we're going to talk about Earth's very first uh, human race. They came to the planet from planet called Baccaraton, which was in constellation Centaur. And he said uh, it was a black, flat-nosed race, about eight foot tall. Uh, there were two skin types, a black race and a yellow race. And according to this alien called Tao, which was from the planet Theauba, he told, uh, or excuse me, it was a hermaphrodite, and he made that clear in the book. It told Mikhail that uh, the Bakaratinian race, black and yellow, uh, were the ancient galactic ancestors of most of the Africans and all of the Chinese. He also said that the Polynesian race in the book was the third race to get here. He also made claims that the Arab race is the it, it, it was the 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 black and the yellow Bakaratinian created the Arab race through uh, mixed breeding. And to see none of this comes up, and you know this is what they're hiding. This is what pisses me off. 
No one wants to talk about that. You know, oh, I'm afraid it's going to offend someone. Fuck all that. You know, I want to hear this stuff. This stuff is really good. But uh, one thing that uh, that keeps popping up is this planet called uh, Maldek. And in that book, The Uber Prophecy, they talk about how the Bakaratinians went to Maldek first, then to Mars, uh, before coming to Earth or coming to the solar system. I don't know if it was the solar system or Earth. They crossed the time barrier. When their ship landed, uh, it took them three days to decompress the ship, but 4,000 years on Earth had, had, had uh, passed. And some of the crew died. Now, we keep hearing bits and pieces of the same familiar story. So, there has got to be some truth in it with his book and with other people's book. As I keep hearing that same story. This this alien race went to Maldek. They went to Mars. They crossed the time barrier. Uh, they had de decompressed the ship, which took them three days, but 4,000 years passed on Earth. You know, but the th the difference, the thing that stands out is that Des Marquette said it was a black and yellow race that this, that this occurred with. You know, um, uh, Simon tried to say it was a being of light. Uh, they, they These were light, 12 dimensional light beings. He didn't say what color they were conveniently. And Alex Collier was asked the question one time about uh, who was Earth's uh, first human group. You know, he tried to be sl uh, sly and nonchalant about it. By saying it was the uh, the Lyrans and the Syrians, but he didn't say what the fuck they looked like, and he did it on purpose. Um, uh, Billy Meyer, who I don't have anything against, uh, I do believe uh, that the saucers were real, but I believe whoever he was talking to, these Pleiadians, were full of shit. Uh, they actually told him that the black race came from Sirius. And it was the last race to come to the Earth. And I think that's a crock of shit. Because too many people then said that, uh, that, that, that that wasn't us that came here last, that we were here first. Um, Clark McClellan said it. Barbara Hancloud said it. Dr. Dilbert Blair said it. Dr. Malachi Z. York said it. So I'm not going to fucking believe... Uh, uh, you know, Billy Meyer's alien friends. One thing I will say interesting about Billy Meyer is that uh, I have not heard the audio interview, but I did read something of it online. But apparently there was an audio interview where someone had uh, called into a show that he was being interviewed on and they had asked Billy Meyer about the racism specifically in the United States. And they said that Billy, and again, I, I didn't hear it, I did read a little bit about it, but I didn't hear him say this. But apparently on the show, Billy Meyer said something along the lines of, Oh my God, America has no idea uh, that the black race in America is related to many, 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 many space foreign uh, civilizations that are black that they're genetically related to. Um, I have been looking all over for this interview uh, I would really like to hear it. If anybody uh, could find this, please, you know, send it my way. Because I would love to hear this. Because uh, I've, I've never heard another contactee say anything like that before. You know. Um, but I do clear as day remember an interview where they were interviewing Clark McClellan on either Coast to Coast AM or the Variety, Various uh, Radio TV show, which comes on YouTube also. I don't pretty I don't pretty much uh, listen to that much to Varias uh, because he charges for his interviews like a piece of shit. But anyway, uh, it was either on one of those one night, and it was a white guy that called in. He sounded like he was in his early twenties, and he asked a uh, former NASA employee uh, who was the first Earth race that came here, and Clark McClellan said without hesitation pulled no punches about it. He said, the government knows damn well the black race came here first. And kind of said it with an attitude. You know, so he knows a lot more than what he's saying. And I heard him say something else about the black race too. He said that we were given Africa uh, millions of years ago and then um, how other earth races were actually related to uh, other uh, alien races genetically. 
because there were four or five groups that were specifically visiting the uh, visiting the planet just to monitor uh, each race that they were related to genetically. So anyway, uh, Simon, I find it interesting that you have all the, you get all this information from your mantis friend, and uh, you never heard of Thea Uba, you know, and you know uh, you claim you never read the book. I, okay, I see, but uh, you should read it, and I hope that comes up again because uh, Thea Uba prophecy is the rarest, and I mean it is the rarest UFO book from a contactee out there. And the reason why I say it's rare because this alien goes into maximum detail. The black race, Chinese race, they were called the Bakaratinians. They came from this planet in Constellation Centaur. Then the Polynesians got here, you know, and they did their thing and they built those Eastern Island, uh, uh, those statues on Eastern Island. Uh, not the Olmec heads, but the uh, the giant pointier heads. You know. Then he said that the Arab race uh, is is uh, came about because of the crossbreed between the Bakaratinians, the black and the yellow, which they had never done on their own planet. So, like I said, it's fascinating stuff, and I recommend the book to anybody that's in the ufology and come to your own conclusion. Like I said, I just think it's rare that this guy came up with uh, uh, came, came up with just something so different. I don't think the guy was lying either. That's just my opinion. Anyway, I'm signing off. Uh, check it out for your own self and come to your own conclusions.